Welcome back, everyone. My name is Patrick. You're watching the Oilers Rundown. Didn't get much of an update for you guys yesterday. Just did a short. Um, there wasn't much going on. Obviously, the boys were back on the ice again for day three, I believe it was, for training camp yesterday. But the big news clearly yesterday was Evander Kane having his surgery. He came through great. He posted this update on Instagram. Successful surgery, long road ahead, but very grateful for my amazing surgeons and nurses. So like I said in my update yesterday, just great to see Evander Kane coming through the surgery well. As he mentions, he's got a long road ahead. Will it be a few months? Will it be right up to the trade deadline? We'll see what happens here. The Oilers, as we know, plan to have him on injured reserve for now. They're not going to activate long-term injured reserve unless they need it because they obviously want to accrue cap space until the trade deadline. So... Let's see what happens here over the next little while, but for now, Evander Kane is through surgery. Great to hear, and we should have an update on his timeline, I assume, from the Edmonton Oilers early next week. We also learned yesterday the new 2024-2025 show lineup for Oilers Now with Bob Stoffer. As you guys know, Bob Stoffer is a big part of my show, get a lot of information from him, so... Very excited to see this lineup on Mondays. I'll have Frank Saravalli and Craig McTavish. Tuesdays, Elliot Friedman, Brian Lawton, and Rob Brown. On Wednesday, a new addition, Pierre Lebrun from TSN and John Shannon. On Thursday, Ron McLean, Louis DeBrusque, and David Staples. And then on Friday, Frank Saravalli returns, and he's joined by either George LaRock or Ben Scrivens. And starting on Monday, Oilers Now with Bob Stoffer will be on 6.30 Ched from 4 till 6 p.m. But the big news for today, the brand new Edmonton Oilers Fanatics jerseys are officially on sale. Now the big ticket item is the On Ice Authentic Pro jerseys. According to insider David Pagnota, they haven't been on sale in 10 years. These come in at $549.99. Obviously starting at $550 is a very, very big price point. These are the exact same jerseys that the players wear on the ice. That's why there's so much money. There is also the NHL Fanatics Premium Jersey, which is equivalent to the Adidas Prime Green Jersey from the past few years. They come in at that same old price point of $299.99 for the blank and then $319.99 with a name on the back. And then you can also get the NHL Fanatics Breakaway Jersey, which comes in at a much cheaper price point. You can get a men's breakaway jersey for $149.99. Women's $139.99, men's with a name on the back, $224.99, and women's with a name on the back at $169.99. And lastly for today, guys, just wanted to give you a heads up that I will be down at Roger's Place tomorrow for Fan Day, which runs from 9.30 a.m. to 1 p.m., and then the Edmonton Oilers will play their first preseason game tomorrow at 4 p.m. at Roger's against the Winnipeg Jets. I will be down at Roger's Place with Tyson from Delany TV and Brendan from Gillies TV. So we'll be hanging out in the area. If you see us, come up, say hi. We'd love to meet all of you. There's an open practice, locker room sale, autographs with Andrew Ferentz and Curtis Glancross, free for the whole family. So definitely lots to see. And like I said, the Oilers play their first preseason game tomorrow at 4 against the Winnipeg Jets. So lots going down at Roger's Place tomorrow. Hope to see you there if you're able to make it down. But I think that's all I have for now, guys. Let me know your thoughts on the Evander Kane surgery, the new jerseys. Are you coming down to Fan Day? Let me know in the comments section below. If this is your first visit to the channel and you like what you see, please consider liking and subscribing for all the latest Oilers content. You've been watching the Oilers Fanatic. Thanks for being a fan.